Yeah, thanks very much. Watching his business go up in flames could have stopped a local man from moving forward, but his high-end electronics store downtown has risen from the ashes. Local 12's Angela Ingram takes us to the comeback. Walking into Bang & Olufsen is more like walking into an art gallery than an electronics store. There's still a lot of work to be done, but it is coming along. The owner and friends are rebuilding after a devastating fire. It was very heartbreaking and then everything covered in water and seeing all precious memories that we've had here. Uh, go up into flames or simply just melted. In January, flames tore through the building on 4th Street just off Fountain Square. Most of the store's merchandise was destroyed. The fire started in an alley just behind the old building. The owner and manager live above it. We escaped through the back uh, fire escape. Uh, I carried my dog down. Uh, Carlos, my business partner, was ahead of me and uh, had unfortunately cut himself. Much of the artwork that decorated the store was destroyed. A portrait of Carlos's mother burned, but he did recreate it. The experience at this high-end electronics store is as much about the beauty of the art as it is about the quality of the merchandise. There are several uh, personal masterpieces uh, of Carlos that was lost during the fire, but also some of his uh, valuable art collection. There were some European old masterpieces uh, from where I come from that were lost. In. The workers here refuse to leave despite their losses. This is a lesson in perseverance and what can be done when people support each other. Stick to your guns, move forward, and uh, it, it's all going to come together in the end with the help of your friends, your family, the community. And they wanted the store ready by tomorrow because the Danish company was founded on November 17th of 1925. And the store's owner says they will be donating part of their sales for November and December to Children's Hospital as a way to give back to the community. Reporting live, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. The grand reopening is tomorrow night from 7 to 10.